One of the many reasons we go boating is to satisfy our sense of adventure. And whether you have a bow rider or a battle wagon, it's getting off the land and onto the water that makes it all worthwhile. But for some of us, that's just not enough. We choose to cross oceans and chase horizons. And for that, you need a very special kind of boat, the kind that are built by Nordhaven. I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power & Motor Yacht Magazine, and I'd like to welcome you aboard the globetrotting Nordhaven 76. The Nordhaven 76 is a big passage maker with a definite slant towards a salty look. And with her advanced systems, this vessel is as ship-shape as they come. Nordhaven 76 has three decks, so we'll start right here on the top deck. Let's walk over to the helm, nice helm, all the controls right out in front of you, and of course, as you would expect up here, great views. Go aft a bit here to starboard, table and seating area. Over here on the center line, grill with stowage cabinets beneath and a sink. Over here to port, refrigerator and ice maker. And as we come fully aft on the back porch area, as you can see, plenty of room for some deck chairs or even another table if you wish. Also access to the dry stack exhaust and this impressive mast with the vast array of electronics on it. One deck down, we come to the enclosed Portuguese bridge featuring the ship's office, seating and dining area, the impressive helm with its vast array of electronics and monitoring systems, as well as the captain's quarters. Outside, wide walkways make traversing her decks safe and easy. The Nordhaven 76 is definitely skipper friendly. Now we've seen the top bridge, we've also seen the Portuguese deck bridge. Now here, on either side, complete wing stations. There's also room up here for some nice stowage areas, including this handy one. The Nordhaven 76 has a very shippy feel to it. As you can see right up here on the foredeck, there's plenty of room for two tenders. One here on the starboard side, and on the other side of the davit, another tender. Another feature of this Portuguese deck is this mid-level seating area. Plenty of room for about a dozen people. The roominess aboard continues here, on the main deck's aft section where wide open spaces for dining and seating areas are found. Over here to starboard, on the aft section, yet another steering station, and of course there's one also to port. Another nice feature worth mentioning are these Dutch doors. Take a look at this. The top remains open, bottom closes. When you're underway, you've got additional airflow into the salon. If you thought the exterior of the Nordhaven 76 was exciting, where do you take a look at the interior? And it starts right here in the main salon. Now, over here to port, beautiful dining room table, leather-bound chairs. Over here to starboard, nice leather-bound seating area and this table. Also, this table has wine stowage underneath it. Talk about wine. We have a wine cooler right there on the starboard side with an additional refrigerator. Moving forward. We have the starboard side galley, beautiful counter space, pair of stools for dining, nice wide open space. Over here, we have the side-by-side -side stainless steel refrigerator, large pantry, lots of stowage cabinets both above and below the counters. Right up here is access to the Portuguese bridge. Now, the Nordhaven 76 has three staterooms and three heads. The master is forward there with its ensuite head. There's a day head over here to port. Down this companionway, two more staterooms and two heads. Let's have a look. All right, this guest quarters right here in front of me. The head for those guest quarters is right aft over there. Here is a cedar closet. The other guest quarters offers a queen berth with adjoining ensuite head. 
right through, here's the engine room, but before we go there, I want to make one stop. The pair of refrigerators right here and our washer dryers. Now, let's take a look at the engine room. With our ocean crossing capabilities and as you can readily see, the engine room is designed for ease of access to all systems. And this is one of two hatches found on the aft deck that leads to and from the lazarette and the engine room. Nordhavens are the kind of vessels that answer to a different call from the sea. And if you're that kind of boater, the Nordhaven 76 just might be the one for you. I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine, and I hope you enjoyed the time aboard this boat as much as I did showing you around. We'll see you next time on PMY-TV.